GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. My name is Emmanuel Mishra Metete, CEO of uh, EM Thought, Kennel Pet Shop. Keep watching G Dog TV. This is Kennel Visit on GH Dog TV and my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. If this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at GH Dog Blogger and log on to our official website at www.ghdogblogger.com. This program is proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. You want the right dog feed for your dog very nutritious and poppy milk just link up with them 0244-820-350 0244-820-350 today i'm at a kennel and i'm going to get up close with the boss man of this kennel we are going to learn a lot of things today and trust me that today's episode is going to be as beautiful as the previous ones you've watched so without wasting much of your time let's go for a quick break we'll be back shortly my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger Welcome back to the show. I told you that I'm at a kennel today and today the kennel that I'm visiting is Empire Dogs Kennel. Empire Dogs Kennel and this kennel can be located at Atonsu, Atonsu Bokro in the Ashanti region of Ghana. And as you can see right here, I have this wonderful family right here i'm about to get up close with the boss of empire dogs kennel but then in case you want to link up with gh dog tv just pick the number on our screen 055-328-4056 055-328-4056 boss welcome to the show you're welcome um, i'd like you to introduce yourself to my lovely viewers for me i know you but for somebody who's seen you for the first time i'd like you to introduce yourself officially to them yeah i'm godfrey I'm Ponce Siama. Yeah. Um, I'm behind Empire Dogs GH. Let me see the owner of Empire Dogs GH. Nice one, Empire. I can see this beautiful bull mastiff right there. I'm sure my lovely viewers are really admiring this beautiful. And she's actually a female. That's one thing I love. A very beautiful dog right here. And this, there's this beautiful pug as well. So um, let me start from this. Um, how did you become a dog lover? Let's start from the scratch. How did you develop love for dogs? Um, actually, I used to see people walking dogs around when I was a kid. So I developed the love from the street, like, you know, yeah. So um, I plan of getting one a, do a dog. So I get a German Shepherd. Yeah, and later, because of school and all those, yeah, I sold my German Shepherd, went to school, Came back and started with a pit bull. Yeah, a pit bull mix. So, with a pit bull mix and with a dog, uh, the mixed breeds, selling them are uh, very difficult. Uh -huh. So, I decided to raise up a huge amount of money to buy a quality dog. Yeah, so my first quality dog was bought from Daffy Dogs Nigeria. Uh, they were from um, Croatia. Yeah, so that was Gandalf. It was a male, but certainly the perf his performance was very low. So I talked to that feed and he said, "No problem. I should bring him and he should give me this one." That's okay, Gloria. Okay, that's Gloria. So um, I'd like us to we'll get there, but I like us to pick it right from the start. So you said you developed the love from the from the streets. Okay, but did you have dogs at your home yourself? No, no we didn't have. 
So when you see people walking their dogs and then I will be chasing them and all. You see, I can even follow you to your house, and I will be standing. You see, my leisure times will be come. will come and stand at the gate and will be yeah. Uh, we'll be watching them and throwing stones. You see that thing. Yeah, I had a, a this thing, a theft cases like because of me following the dogs to the house. Maybe when they don't they don't find the dog or something, they can blame me. I'm the one who steal the dog or something. When the dog get missing or something, so I think I guess most I think two cases. So I stopped. I stopped. So I decided to buy my own dogs. So I consult my mom and he gave me some money. And I add my to it then Tali. I purchased that German Shepherd. Yeah. Wow. So it was more like you you had the love for dogs. So people actually mistakenly felt like maybe once you follow the person to the house and something happens, you might say it's you. Yeah, you see that thing. Yeah. So because of that my mom felt uh, this thing. So he tried to give me money then to purchase a dog on my own. That's around which year, if you can really remember? 2009. 20, uh, 2009. Yeah, 2009 or 2006, something. 2009. Yeah, 2009. Um, do you remember the amount you got the German Shepherd for at that time? Yeah, I got a German Shepherd about, I think, 200 cities. I bought two and sold the, uh, sold the, the pick of the litter to my friend. And my mom insulted me. Why did I sell that dog? Blah 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 blah. I said no. I like this one. The one that is unhealthy. I like that one. Yeah. So I knew what I'm going to like. What I was going to do. Yeah. So later it turned out to become beautiful. Yeah. So I mated the dog. Even when I was selling the, um, that dog, I mated her. But very unfortunate. I have to go to school. Uh, the placement has been already been. Yeah, so I have to go to school, eh? so I don't have any option. I showed the dog to um, Apia Stadium. Yeah, 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 yeah. So even I think that money was be used to pay my admission fee. Wow! <laughs> wow, lovely viewers. This this story is really getting interested. I'm I'm right here with the boss of Empire Dogs GH, and he's affectionately called Empire by. Everybody, everybody who knows him calls him Empire. Most of the time, they even forget that he's called girlfriend. And he's really sharing a, a very beautiful story right here. Okay, so after, so we've got into the part where you got the admission, you sold the dog for the admission and stuff like that. So um, after that, at which point did you get the mixed pit bull and why did you get that breed? So after SHS, I get, um, I talked to my uncle and he also has that passion the dogs and he said okay no it's a good idea to start so he gave me some amount of money i sold my laptop and added to it and, and buy the pit bull so my first letter um, i saved some of the money second letter i saved some of the money i used to raise that bull mastiff that i bought gandalf that's um so they are siblings uh, that was when the 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 the, the bull mastiff came in okay I know Empire Dogs is uh, mostly noted for Bull Mastiff. I never knew you had gone to German Shepherd. Or... So can I conclude that your first love was a German Shepherd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my first love was a German Shepherd. And you still love them? Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think at, at, at a certain point you go back to the German Shepherd? Because I've seen certain breeders who start with rots and later they'll move to another one. Do you think you can change? Hmm, Charlie. With what I'm seeing, I don't think I'll go to, no, back to German yeah. Shepherd. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. I'm, I'm really loving the conversation. So let's say um, you went to school, you had the, um, you later came back, you got the mixed pit bull and stuff. Now you are getting a new dog, and you went for a bull mastiff, and you you bought it from a renowned, a top breeder in Nigeria. So let me ask, what really? What is it about the bull mastiff that got you to enter into it? And at that point, too, um, were you considering breeding? Uh, I was considering the um, this time, the demand. You know, I found it to be a lucrative business, so I decided to um, start with a, a breed that will fetch me at least. Yeah, when I invest, I can get my money back. So that's the 
whole thing behind. Uh, so that's why I started the Boom Massive, and you know, Boom Massive because of their scary face and their standing and all that. Um, I think it have a lot of demand. Like even if you don't have puppies, people can join a queue. And yeah, you can join a queue. Yeah. yeah. So I think it being um, a, a high demand in the system. That's why. Yeah. What, what, what again about the boomer Steve do you love that you think got you attracted? Is it the size, the the scary face like you mentioned? <laughs> yeah, the size and the demand. Yeah, you know, it's a business, and all the same as it's also my passion. So adding the two won't be bad. Yeah, so that's why we went for the boomer Steve. Yeah, straight up for a pedigree dog that was Gandalf. Yeah, that's Gandalf. Gandalf West BS. Yeah, from Croatia. Yeah. So let me let me ask you. A lot of people say they start breeding, but they don't start with pedigree dogs and stuff like that. What well, did you hear something about the pedigree? Why did you go for? Did you choose to go for the pedigree? Or you are the type who actually wants to go straight up for the quality? Because if you are doing it, you have to do it best. Actually, I was against pedigree dog. The funny thing, I was against. Why every day I will be seeing them talking about pedigree, 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 pedigree. So Charlie, looking at uh, you know, as time goes on, um, it, yeah, as time goes on, things started developing, and if you have bad intention for pedigree, you will change your mind, because if you see the pedigree, the ones, the standard, the pedigree, and the base breed, and the, the normal ones we have around, you see the difference. Even the skin. Their, you see, their stature and all that. So I decided now, nah, why don't I look into the pedigree so that um, I can make um, good money from them. Yeah. Nice one, lovely viewers. I'm right here at Empire Dogs GH. Empire Dogs Kennel is the location for today. And I mentioned the location earlier. We are in Kumasi in the Ashanti region, Atonso to be specific. Yes, Atomsu to be precise. Now, in case this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon to always be notified whenever we drop yet another exclusive dog content. We get up close with dog lovers, dog breeders, dog trainers, and everything. And if you're also in need of the right dog feed for your dog's puppy milk, just link up with Eminent Dog Feed and Puppy Milk. Eminent Dog Feed and Puppy Milk. 0244-820-350. 0244-820-350. Three five zero. So, um, go for it. We are, we are, we are, we are still continuing the conversation. We got to the part where you talked of Gandalf. Gandalf, can you tell us something about Gandalf and how was the first experience like getting a boomer, Steve? Charlie, Gandalf is a was a great dog. Gandalf was a great dog. Charlie, it's times two of this. Yeah, it's times two of this this girl. Yeah, I'm looking forward to produce something like him. For out of this yeah so i'm still on it yeah to get a, a similar quality or even more than that yeah even more than that from this girl since they have they are one mother one father yeah or siblings yeah you, you getting um gandalf how was the first experience like since you had moved into a new breed that was the boom master was it different from how the the german shop it was a whole mood yeah i was very very excited i mean i ran the first time i saw the dog i ran was I was amazed. I, yeah, I was so amazed. It was more than my expectation. Yeah. Very huge dog. Did you, did you get um, Gandalf as an adult? Uh, yes, an, an, adult, an adult from Daffy Dogs. Yeah. This is beautiful. So after Gandalf, um, wh what happened again? Did you did you also get another dog or something else? So after Gandalf, I was having my maze breed around. Okay. Yeah, but you know, after Gandalf, Due to um, him not performing very well, like performing, I said performing, the production wasn't so um, listen, yeah. So I decided to talk to my man, Daffy, and he said, okay, no problem, I should bring the dog, and he'll balance me with some puppies from Gloria. But later, he said, nah, you take the dog, wow. and you get, uh -huh. so we make a deal on it, uh, and the first chapter is closed. So. You moved from Gandalf and then you got Gloria as well. 
wow lovely viewers check out check out check out gloria gloria right here such a beautiful girl i mean i'm so in love with gloria she's she's very very solid very solid female with lovely features lovely viewers check out the head check out the muscle check check the muzzle and everything wow 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 so you you getting gloria again um did you also get any other dog again or what mm, sorry like i said i was having my miss read around yeah so later i give them out yeah so it left only gandalf uh, i think one of a pure breed boomer series let's go um lagata okay. yeah lagata yeah that was the only dog that gave birth with gandalf 15 puppies but very unfortunately i lose them um i've seen some other male around i think freedom can you can you tell us something about freedom as well yeah oh, yeah 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 freedom is a nice dog you see my aim to purchase Gandalf was to like get a stew dog which was going to give me some money and you know that aim wasn't so um, achieved like I couldn't achieve that uh, so uh, I decided to purchase around, around the line I decided to purchase a male dog at least that will be similar to Gandalf or something that will earn me something as far well, as, well as I'm breeding the females yeah, so I purchased this dog from Colonel Ford at book room uh, so that's how yeah, yeah, yeah. big shout outs to ford kennel right there big shout outs to him as well lovely 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 so empire you getting the boom master i know you have a pack we'll come to the pack too as well but then um you you having the boom master if somebody is hoping to get a boom master soon or hoping to get a dog soon what, what can you convince them to um, what can you tell them to convince them to get a bull mastiff? Oh, I can convince them to get a bull mastiff because a bull mastiff has a lot of demand. I always say that me, I'm a doing, I'm a, I'm a businessman. So if I'm about to uh, introduce you to this business, I'll just tell you it's a it's a good business, you know. But you know, livestock always pull surprises. Some of the surprises are um, you can meet the dog. And you know, in Ghana here, we don't have so many apparatus or tools that will assist us to know maybe the dog is ovulating or all we are doing is, <laughs> let me say, chushubidi. Yeah, we are doing just a raffle or gambling. Yeah, um, our breeding system here, um, it's a gambling. Yeah, but when you go to outside, it's not a gambling. You know, the actual day the dog is um, ovulating. And doing that, you know, going to, going to pay amount of 3,500. 3,000, 2,000, 1,005 just to meet your dog and at the end of the day you don't get a resource. It's very painful, you know. Yeah, so uh, me convincing you to come, I'll just tell you the the um, importance and the, what do you call it, disadvantages, the advantage and disadvantages. But I'll make you aware of the disadvantages more than the advantages. You know, ask me why. The reason I'll, um, I'll let you know the disadvantages of breeding a bull master, not even a bull master, any dog, is they are livestock. We are, we are also um, live um, this thing. Since While they are livestock, they face most um, like diseases and sicknesses, all those kind of um, this thing. And livestock can die anytime. So I'll let you know all these things before you purchase a dog, not even a bull mastiff. You need to know, you can cross the dog and it will never pick. Yeah, you can cross the dog, or even you can you can you can buy a dog just today, and you take it home and it will just die, out of heat stroke or anything. They pull up um, surprises. Yeah, so I'll advise you on these things, the disadvantage and the advantages. Yeah. If somebody is looking to also become a breeder, you would first tell him about the challenges and stuff. Tell you about the challenges. The reality on the ground because most people see the dogs and they think that it's just a normal thing. It's just... Yeah, these dogs, if I say they pull out surprises, it, it entails a lot. <laughs> they can give you a, a lot of broken hearts. Which can tell you to stop the breeding, even or not, you not even venture. If you um, if um, you focus on the money, 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 you yes, you lose big time. But sometimes you need to add passion to it. It's the passion that holds us 
still um, like really, yeah till now if not a passion Charlie there are a lot of good broken hearts and all that yeah talking of um, broken heart I think another bit that buying a dog for um four thousand euros and it come out to be um, unproductive or you see it, it's very painful yeah, it's very painful um, some of them too even arrive and even at the airport they can just and one, I want to advise something I want to advise a general advice if I'm buying something even not a dog anything and if I can't buy it um, times three or times two of that thing I won't buy ask me why because I can I can buy this dog let's say I'll use all my money uh, let's say thousand cities or buy this dog and what am I going to use to feed the dog? The maintenance and all, you see? So, when buying something or when buying a dog or when starting the business, make sure you have more money. Yeah, it's not it's not a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a joke. Yeah. As, you see, um, as you see this lovely female Gloria here, as big as she is, you should know that a lot has really gone into this dog. And I love the fact that you are talking about the realities on the ground. A lot of people skip up. The realities. Skip it. I won't skip the realities. I won't skip. If I'm to advise you to start this business, like seriously, I'll let you know the disadvantages. I'll let you know the disadvantages so that at a point in time, if you face those kind of things, it won't be a new thing to you. Yeah, you realize what I said. But sometimes you can face the disadvantages and later you f you, you get the... Uh, the experience and all that and you get more this thing you see that thing yeah that vibe talking of experience have you had a very painful experience that gave you a broken heart can you share it with us yeah, yeah i can i can share with you a broken heart i, I once had a dog called uh, the lagata okay. yeah the first uh, pregnancy it gave me 10 puppies and mistakenly i spread that place okay. where it ripped so not knowing the scent is still around, so it got them killed. I try my best to survive these puppies, but none of them survived. That is a waste of time. Yeah. You also, are of, you're also of the belief that there's a special kind of broken heart with dog breeding. Yeah, there's a special kind of broken heart. You can even walk a dog and it will die. Yeah, I had break, I hit strokes and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely viewers, I'm right here with Godfred of Empire Dogs. Godfred of Empire Dogs. He's affectionately called Empire and he's really talking a lot about the dog breeding, the challenges, the realities on the ground and everything and everything. I'm, I'm really loving today's episode. Now, Empire, um, you've really talked a lot about the challenges and everything. So let's say um, a normal dog owner, somebody is, is not looking for it for, let's say, breeding as well. What, what can you also say to convince that person to get? Are they cool around kids? Because most people, there are some family people who are concerned with dogs that are cooler. Cool around kids. If a dog will be cool around kids, it depends on you. You see, mostly they will say boom massive is not aggressive, but you show freedom attacking the, the guy. You see, they are aggressive, but it depends on how you raise it. Yeah, the, how you are going to raise the dog will determine the... Yeah, mostly, I don't believe in those. Uh, this dog has this temperament. If, if you read about Rottweiler and you, you, you compare their, um, their temperament currently, you see, it doesn't sound like how you say where are from this the, this road trailers. They are not aggressive, yeah. But it depends on how. Sometimes the territory, uh, the territory that the dog is, that would determine the temperament. Maybe if you have aggressive dogs over there, it can pick from them. Yeah. And I think also, um, if they they want their dogs not to be so aggressive, I think they should also socialize them at an early stage, letting them know. Some dog can be socialized and will still be aggressive yeah so it, 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 there is so much into it there is so much they can pull surprises you know this dog is friendly this dog is, but it can attack a certain person you yourself you won't get it yeah you won't get it when it comes to guarding as well to their perfect guard dogs exactly and you know they sense fear 
once they sense fear like in you they can attack you now um empire let me ask this question and then we'll, i'll get to my favorite part where we, we check out the dogs their names and all of that and then you drop out your contact details because i know somebody has seen freedom the person is actually expecting some puppies because some people this is top quality this is a top quality bull mastiff some people will be hoping to give you a call for stud services from um, freedom and all of that but then let me ask you i know you you love bull mastiffs that is what you do and you've actually bred top quality bull mastiffs to be honest in this country so i want to ask you this question um how did the pack set in? I came here and I've seen a pack and I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit surprised because I know Empire doesn't do packs. Empire is more of the bull mastiffs. You are noted for bull mastiffs. Now, how did the pack set in? Actually, um, I didn't like them. Uh, but I saw one um, Instagram post. That was from r and Nigeria. And Charlie... This man was having amazing packs. So from there, each time I decided to uh, check out the, the page. Yeah. So there was some time I entered it, um, his DM yeah. and asked about the puppy. He said, oh, you have two weeks puppies. And I said, oh, okay. And I, I'll need two, two of them. Yeah. He mentioned the price. I paid, bef- I paid on time. Wow. Because if you don't pay on time, it will get finished. Yeah. And you know, the, the mostly why, the reason why I developed the love is, you know, looking at their face and the bull mastiff. Mm-hmm. You see, you, you 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 realize this one is a small bull mastiff. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to switch. I wanted to stop the large breed to the small smaller breed, which is the the toy dogs. Yeah. So mostly, I wanted to breed. Uh, I wanted to breed parks and French bulldogs. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to. So my first purchase is the pack from R and B Kennel Nigeria. Yeah. And you mentioned that you, you bought two. So where's the other one? I, oh, I sold it. I sold it. <laughs> that was a male. That was a female. I bought two females. Okay. Uh, so buying from Nigeria and coming to Ghana, somebody saw the other female and you wanted to also purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I sold the other female. I think it was bigger than this one. I like the small one. Okay, so for how long have you had this pack? Oh, like f- four months, three weeks. Four months, that's close to five months. So uh, how, how do you see the pack too? Oh, they are amazing. They are amazing and funny, you know. They, they are very, very playful. Yeah, they are very, very playful. Yeah, yeah as you can see. You see? You see? You see? <laughs> I love how the the, the bull mastiffs also bond with parks. The yeah. name is um, Nairobi. Nairobi, okay, Nairobi, nice. I love I love the way the bull mastiffs all play with hair and all of that. Yeah. Oh, it's it's normal. It's normal. Yeah. You know the the, the um you know the bull mastiffs are very friendly, and as to this one, yeah. So it's normal for them to bond. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely viewers, we are, we, are, we, are, we are about to um, end this segment and then we get to my favorite part and all of that. But then just as I told you, if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, just kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And you can also check out our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at GH Dog Blogger. But then before we, we, we wrap up this interview, I'd like Empire to drop out his social media handles, his contact and everything. I know somebody might have seen this beautiful girl Gloria here and he's maybe he'll be looking out for puppies, he'll be seeing freedom, he'll be wanting some of the meals for stud services and all. So Empire, I'd like you to drop your social media handles and your contacts as well. Right. You can reach me on 0549-337392. 0549-337392 and you can reach me on Instagram on Empire Dogs GH on Instagram at Empire Dogs GH go check him out give him a call link up consultation advice everything today we've really had a wonderful conversation with Empire now Empire well, I'd like you to also say your final words to my lovely viewers and also if you'd like to give anybody some shout outs or anything of that sort as well yeah, uh, big shout outs to um the Don Kennel. Yeah, currently at Australia. Yeah. And big shout outs to Daffy Dogs and big shout outs to Hallmark Boobs. 
Yeah. yeah. Also, um, your 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 final words as well. What would you like to say? Like I said earlier on, I said if you want to start dog breeding, try to know the disadvantages. Yeah. Try to know the disadvantages because there is a lot of disadvantages. Yeah. Nice one, nice one, nice one. That's coming from the boss of Empire Dogs GH. The boss of Empire Dogs GH. He has really talked about a lot of things from the challenges to the disadvantages and everything. Now, lovely viewers, this is where we, 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 we get to my favorite part. We check out the dogs, their names, and all of that. So don't go anywhere. Stick and stay. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. We get to my favorite part. We check out the dogs. Okay, so welcome back. This is my favorite part where we check out the dogs, where he's going to talk about the dogs and everything. So now, let, let's start with this lovely pug right here. Yeah, this is Nairobi. Yeah, Nairobi of R&B Kennels. Yeah. You go, you go from R&B Kennels in Nigeria? In Nigeria. R&B Kennels in Nigeria. So what do you like about Nairobi? Um, Nairobi is very, very playful. I like that you know, of, of him. Yeah, and very hyper. Yeah, so... I like that of him, of her. That's what. That's a lovely view. Check out Nairobi. C can you raise it a bit so that they can really see the face and everything? Nairobi, right there. Such a lovely pack. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I, I just love how the packs stick out their tongue. <laughs> so lovely view. That's Nairobi. Very fine female pack right there. And what about our, um, our lovely friend here? Yeah, Gloria West Bs. Yeah, Gloria West Bs. Is from um, I bought from Daffy Dogs, but from Croatia, yeah, from Croatia. From Croatia, oh, nice one, nice one, nice one. I don't know if she could stand up a bit so that my lovely viewers could see her very well. Let me let me get let me get Gloria up. Gloria, very heavy. <laughs> lovely viewers, check out, check out, check yeah. out Gloria. Wow, such a beautiful girl right yeah. there. Such a beautiful girl right there. And what do you like about um, Gloria as well? Gloria, hmm. is very energetic. And Charlie, it's funny too. Like very, very playful. I like everything about her. Yeah. If you a check out Gloria, Gloria, right there. Lovely. I, I, I really love the features of her. The muscle, the muzzle. Look at the head, right there, right here at Empire Dogs Kennel. Nice one, nice one, nice one. <laughs> Right here is another lovely meal here as well. Empire, what about this meal as well? Yeah, that is freedom. Yeah, freedom. Where did you get freedom from as well? I get from Kennel Ford. Kennel yeah, book. Yeah, you mentioned. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you like about freedom as well? Oh, I like. <laughs> I like everything about freedom. Yeah, it's sexy man. <laughs> the girls them sugar. Ah, uh, the the girls them sugar, bro. <laughs> Is a sugar daddy? Yeah, sugar daddy. Zadi? That's why, that's why, that's why I love the viewers. So, the Empire has really um, shared his thoughts on why he loves freedom and all of that lovely viewers so this is what we have for you today on gh dog tv today we visited empire dogs gh and the location is at tonsu in the ashanti region of ghana he really talked about a whole lot of things i'm sure you love today's interview and this program is proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and poppy milk you want the right dog feed for your dogs to help them grow just link up 0244 0244820350 you can also follow gh dog tv on our social media handles on facebook instagram and twitter at gh dog blogger thank you so much for always watching our videos and if this is also your first time of watching a video on this channel you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger catch you another time gh dog tv your number one tv for all dog lovers